So math would say I should be on each of those platforms between two and five times per day. Okay. So if I say there are five and I need to be on each of them five times a day, does that mean you should be creating 25 pieces of content a day? Absolutely yes. Not. The, the, the answer is yes. Okay, so. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Good job. Yeah. Good press with your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the Daily Bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket, because I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry, because it's time for the Daily Bread. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Breadwinner Podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris, and we have got a returning guest today, Mr. Colby K. And last time, if you guys watched the last episode, we kind of give you a little bit of background on on Colby and his um, burrito stealing days and kind of went through his history and evolution. But we kind of came to the the end point, which was really beginning to talk about branding and where he uh, that's where he is an expert in. And what we wanted to do on this podcast is really get a little bit more tactical and provide some strategies that you guys can implement that are either looking to start building a personal brand or are building a personal brand, but want to really uh, enhance the actions that you're putting in each day to get the best bang for your buck. I don't want to talk too much. I'll let Colby jump right into it and we'll just kind of go back and forth on this. But Colby, uh, glad to have you again, man. Brother, dude, I have to say, and I didn't do this last time and I apologize. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm so honored to, uh, to be on the show and anytime I can get in front of a new audience and if just one person's life's impacted That's for right. me, it was, it's absolutely worth it, man. So first let me start there. I, I'm humbled and, and grateful for the opportunity uh, to do the first show and now to be back as the second. So thank you so much. Hey, and this is the first time we've ever brought anybody back back on, so it's a big deal. <laughs> I love it, dude. Let's, let's not let him down. Hey, so you and I were talking in, yes. in, in order to kind of frame this up. There's a couple things. What I really like to do is I don't like to talk in theory. I like to talk in tactical things that people can go and do something with, yep. right? So – we talked about you know your audience, um, whether you are in the insurance business, whether you're a broker, whether you're an independent agent, whether you, you're in some kind of other business, mm -hmm. what does it mean to be to have a personal brand and a business brand? And then one of the questions I get asked a lot is, is there a difference? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is there, you think there's a difference between personal brand and business brand? I think that they overlap. And I think that based on someone's uh, – I think for me, they – are very separated, but that's because of my specific niche that I serve. But I think most people, um, they, there needs to be an overlap between those two things. Yeah, absolutely. So for, for me, it, it is, there's absolutely, there's kind of an overlap on how much I want to share and how comfortable I am sharing. Yeah. Right. Cause I do get that question a lot. So for, for the listeners, uh, we're going to go through a couple of different things. And the way that I like to break this down is the process we're going to talk about is called digital distribution. The landscape has changed. The tools are different. The internet is the equalizer. There's never been a more opportune time to get your name out, your brand out, and to either start a side hustle and make some additional capital or to drive more revenue out of your current business. Okay. So So for me, what I've come up with is a it's a it's a um, it's an equation, and I call it quality content plus consistency equals value. Okay, so we know that there are five major platforms that you should be playing on if you want to be relevant. Um, we could argue about some of the specialty things, but there are you've got Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram. Then if you want to say Twitter or not, those are the five major kind of categories. You've got Vero as an up and comer. Mm -hmm. You've got Pinterest if you're into images. You've got there are some other outliers that you can get into. Sure. So math would say I should be on each of those platforms between two and five times per day. 
Okay. So if I say there are five and I need to be on each of them five times a day, does that mean you should be creating 25 pieces of content a day? Absolutely yes. Not. The answer is yes. Okay. So if I look at that, it's like, well, I've got a day job. I've got a family. I'm working 60 hours a week. Like I don't have the time to create it. The answer to that, the actual antidote to that is you do not, ha- you don't not have a time to create. You have to create it. There's mm-hmm. not a, if you're spending any time on sales and marketing, this is part of the sales and marketing. So when you look at that equation and I look at my offer, here's where things start to translate. Um, it starts with what I call uh, multi-purposing a piece of content. I will take a five minute video. So every day I do a series, I'll do three to four videos a day. Okay. Um, it starts with quality content. It can't be just pictures of what you ate. You need to be making sure that you're delivering value into the niche that you're serving consistently. Don't be a copycat, be honest, and do you. That Those are the ground rules. And I will, I'll, I'll pick up my phone, I start a video. I will film one five minute video, if there's something long I wanna say, let's say it's seven minutes. Okay. I have one video asset. I will then take that asset and I will translate that into four other categories, meaning I have the raw video. I'll go to a website called rev.com, R-E-V as in victor.com. Yep. It's a transcription service. I send them a link to my video. They will transcribe that video to me in a Word document. They tur- it's like less than a dollar a minute. Like it's, mm-hmm. super, it's super cost effective and fast. They turn those videos around within 20, 30 minutes, within a day at the, at the most. Now I've got a Word document. I go into either a free uh, – there's a free audio program called Odyssey for your PC or for – if you have a Mac, the iMovie program. I take that video, I dump it in, and I separate the audio and save the audio as its own file. Now I've got a video. I've got long-form content. I've got, I've got the text of my video, and I've got the audio. This is where the magic starts to happen. So in one five- to seven-minute video, what I will do is I go into three separate segments of areas for what I call digital distribution. I take the long form content of the text, I reformat that, now that becomes a blog post on my website. One to three blog posts, depending on how many words I've spoken. Okay. It becomes long form content on my Facebook page. One to two to three possible posts on my Facebook page, and then one on my LinkedIn. So that one long form content uh, uh, of words that come back, I can take that document, I've now sliced that up into possibly five pieces of written content that could go on my platforms. Hey, Kobe, real quick, with uh, yep. with Rev, how accurate are you seeing that transcription? Ninety nine percent. Is it okay? Oh, awesome. dude, it's so good. Okay. I send over hours and hours yeah. of content like weekly, and it's um, it's it's right on. Okay, it's a formatting thing, dude. Like you yeah. just get back a bunch of paragraphs. Yep. So you, like you have to go through and weed through it. Spelling is usually really on. Yeah. Um, they catch they catch most of it. Okay. They catch most of it, and my videos are outside. I've got distractions, and yeah. they seem to do. They do seem to do pretty well. That's a okay. great question. Okay, cool. So now I've got my long form content. I've got some long form blogs that I'm putting out. I've got um, an. E- I'll do an email too. So I do an email blast once a week. Mm-hmm. I have um, close to eleven thousand people on my email list. I highly recommend that you're capturing email outside of your social media uh, for distribution. I have a 60% open rate of my emails, dude. I'm wow. in there every single week providing value. I'm not wow. selling all the time. I'm just, I'm the value, value, value. Where, so, where are you getting the most opt-ins on your emails? Uh, depends, dude. I'm running five or yeah. six campaigns every every week, depending yeah. on what I'm talking about, right? Got so it. I'm giving away a ton of free stuff, a free white paper, an ebook, which we could talk about creating ebooks and stuff for them. So I've got, um, so you take that one video, yeah. I sliced it up into, I've got my video, my audio, my long form text, in that long form text, without a doubt, I'm gonna have five to 10 quotes that stand out for me. Mm-hmm. I go in and I will use either Word Swag on Instagram, which is a text app that I can put on top of images, Word Swag, S-W-A-G, and I'll create 10 quote cards, let's say five to 10 quote cards based on things I said in that one video. Now let's look at it. I've got five pieces of content, like long form content. I've got 10 pieces of quote card. I've got the audio that I can slice into one to three assets for either a podcast or micro bursts. And then I've got my video. If my video is really good, I might be able to slice one video into one to two to three different assets. Mm -hmm. That one five to seven minute video just became 15 assets in one gyration. Now, okay, okay, that's how you multi. That's how you get most the most out of one recording. So yep. now I've got 15 assets out of one five-minute session. Okay, now it's where do I distribute that? Because you told me there were five platforms I need to be on: Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, uh, link, uh, YouTube. Yep. Okay, so now I've got those five profiles. 
Now I can use an auto scheduling tool like a Hootsuite, which now does Instagram, or a Sprout Social. Uh, there are some questions about Facebook conf- content being, if it's not organic and it's coming through a third party, how it ranks. But at least get yourself in a system of posting, um, putting your content in a tool instead of sitting down and writing a bunch of stuff every single day. You can automate that sequence. Sure. I go through social media distribution. I go through my website for the blog as well as my podcast. And then I go through my email distribution list for long form weekly content on a free training, a video, the long form post on one of the videos I've done. That is how you take literally one five to seven minute video, get 15 assets, and those are the areas that you start to distribute. Quality content, consistency now is the next piece. I'm doing that every day, yeah. every day. So you're seeing five to six pieces of content across all my platforms every single day. And um, you know, to, to put the benchmark up there, I've done almost 4,000 videos in three years. <laughs> so like that's, that's, you need to start to, when you start to look at scale, yeah. uh, that's, that's, those are the numbers that I'm doing, and I think I could be doing more. Now you start to look at, back to where we started, is my offer. People, if you did not just take notes during that, then you need to go back, hit rewind, start it again, and start taking some notes because that was about a, I mean, that was a six-figure lesson in about, what, uh eight minutes. So dude, I'll, dude, I'll tell you what we could do. Um, I've got a couple of these already recorded where I do that outline. I do that outline for our huge corporate clients that sure. are spending six figures with us to help automate some of this stuff. Absolutely. I will do a video just for your crew where I'll whiteboard that or I have, if I have a previous one, I'll give you a link to where people can visually see what I'm talking about. What's up, guys? So I think you would agree that was some phenomenal information that Colby just dropped there. If you want to see this interview in its entirety, that was 10 minutes. The entire interview was almost an hour long. Plus, we're going to have Colby whiteboard this thing out so that you can really take this information, absorb it, and implement it into your business and have it make a huge impact on what you're doing right now. Here's how you can see the whole thing. Go to my website, which is Tyler Harris page. Dot com. Again, tylerharrispage.com. At the very top, you'll be able to opt in to be one of my VIP. We're going to send this out in a newsletter form. You're going to get the full interview, plus you're going to get Colby whiteboarding this thing out. Opt in, become one of my VIPs so that you can get access to not only this, but a ton of other information that we put out here on a weekly basis. Look forward to seeing you there.